<laughs> let's go ahead and begin by reading the question. So right over here, my party people, this is where we'll go. How much should you expect to pay to ship the item? So first things first, again, whether you were confused or super confident, doesn't matter. My party people, does the question give you a direction? Does the question sentence give you direction? Yeah, absolutely does. Absolutely does. It tells you exactly what the goal is. It tells you what you want. Everybody, life is easier when you know what you want, right? When you know exactly what you want, life becomes a little bit easier. So, boom, what do you want? And it's again, we want to know how much we're supposed to pay to ship this item. The next question is going to be, what do you have? What information is going to tell you how much you're supposed to pay to ship the item? Notice how that process becomes a little easier than just beginning to read. You'd like to ship an item that weighs one pound, 15 ounces. Why does that matter? You don't know why that one pound, 15 ounces matters until you know the goal. There's a cost to this. Great. So now that I know that there's a cost, then I'm going to write down the one pound, 15 ounces. Let me go ahead and help myself out real quick. Let me fix this up. Perfect. One pound, 15 ounces. Cool. So that's what we have right there. And I can highlight that right here in green. It weighs one pound and 15 ounces. Perfect. And look, I know how awesome it is to watch these videos, but how much better would it be to actually sit in a live Zoom class with me, being able to answer your questions and show you how to get things done back to back to back? I got your back. Go ahead and join our program trial. It's free for a full week. I am so confident that it'll help you raise your score that I'm not even requiring a credit card for you to sign up. All you have to do is confirm your email and phone number and you're good to go. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead, click the link in the description or text trial to 833-321-0182. And I'll see you there, my ASVAB party people. Let's raise that score. Now, the next step is gonna be just go ahead, read through all the information, write down what you feel is important, but remember to not just write down the number, write down what the number means, write down its meaning. Units, keywords, any weird phrasing, make sure to include it. So here we are, right here. And so here, the post office charges $7 for the first pound and $6.50 per ounce thereafter. So can somebody just clarify that for the group here? I, I could obviously just go ahead and tell you, but I wanna kind of include you guys in this discussion. What does this mean right here? Seven pounds or $7 for the first pound, then $6.50 per ounce thereafter. What does that mean in your eyes? What does that mean? So we are comparing the same things in the same way? Not quite. Notice that we are actually comparing the same thing in different ways. We're saying that $7 goes towards the first pound, then six to 50 per ounce thereafter. So there's a, a different story depending on how you look at it. So boom, now we're having a lot of people here chiming in and we see that the first pound, $7. I see a lot of people here saying that, $7, one pound, one pound, one pound. Evelyn put it best. Evelyn says, hey, we have a set price and then we have the additional charge. Notice what it says here. It says, hey, uh, let me use a different color. It says $7 for the first pound and then it says $6.50 per ounce thereafter. So what that means to us, my party people, is this. Right here, the first pound, that's going to be $7. And then afterwards, the $6.50 per ounce thereafter, we're multiplying the 15 ounces that we have. This is going to be $6.50 per ounce. That's right here. This right here is where we are applying that $6.50. The entire first pound, that's covered. That's 7 bucks. $7 right there. Everything after the fact, $6.50. So my party people, does that make sense at least to you? Again, the $7, you pay that for the first pound, only one pound. That entire one pound, seven bucks. Whatever you have left, that's where the additional charge comes in. That's where that $6.50 per ounce comes in. So 
let me know my part of people if that makes a little more sense if that gave you some clarification um, in that regard. Morse, sounds good. Jalen, good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. V, sounds good. So, last question before we actually do the math. Did anybody here think or believe or assume that this was a unit conversion problem and you freaked out a little bit? Did anybody here assume that this was a unit conversion problem and then freak out wondering, where am I supposed to convert units? Or you converted before you even knew what to do. See, that's the thing guys, that's the thing. This is what it means to manage those emotions. You know, sometimes your brain might try to fill in certain unknowns for you. And for those of you who are in the program, you've seen a question type like this plenty of times. But sometimes you don't need to convert. That's why it's so important to follow your three steps toward problem success, to know what it is that you have, what you're going for, and then how to connect the two. In this case, no unit conversion necessary. You have one pound, 15 ounces. And so therefore, well, first pound, seven bucks, no work needed. Then the rest, 650 per ounce. So everybody, what operation are we gonna do with 650 per ounce and the 15 ounces? What are we supposed to do? Right, we're supposed to multiply. 650 per ounce means, hey, to get the total cost, 650 times ounces. So all I need to do now is two more things. I'll do the first thing, but I'll let you tell me what the second one is. Let me grab purple, come right over here. We'll do 650. We'll multiply that by the 15 ounces that we have. Again, dollars per ounce. And then this is the number of ounces. We do the math, zero times five, that's gonna be zero. Five times five, that's gonna be 25. Six times five is 30. Carry the two, that's 32. Then bring a zero down to go to the next line. We are now working with this here. So zero times one, five times one, six times one. And so then from there, we'll go ahead, add that all up. And what we have here, my party people, is going to be zero, five, seven, nine. So when it comes to multiplying decimals, everybody, we ignore the decimals in the beginning. And then what do we do at the end? Right, we simply go ahead and we bring it back. So once we bring it back, you see here that we'll have one, two. So one, two, booyah. We have $97.50. And so we may get excited here, my party people, because, well, 97.50, well, guess what? My party people, take a look right here. That says 97.50. Everyone is 97.50. Ah, that's right, Nick, there we go. Nick, I appreciate that. Yes, Nick says, man, don't forget to add the $7 back. We're trying to find what? The amount of money it costs to ship the item. If we're trying to ship this item, we're told that it was $7 for the first pound and then the 650 per ounce after. That 650 per ounce after total to 97.50. So what we need to do is bring that back with the $7. And once we do that, well, $97.50 plus the $7, that's gonna bring us to $104.50. There we are. And the correct answer will be D. Don't forget, we have a free class once a week typically on Mondays, 6 p.m. Eastern time. If you'd like to join, go ahead, go to that link over there, or text free class to 833-321-0182. Hey, it's the ASVAB.